Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> There is a lot of excitement and media attention around this unborn baby, conceived in a Petri dish at KU Women's Health Specialty Centers. What's new is the egg was first frozen, thawed, and then fertilized. A first for the University of Kansas Hospital and the region. So far, so good. Jessica and Ryan Dixon had been trying to get pregnant for three years when they were referred to the University of Kansas Hospital. Here's our problem. Dr. Kim showed us the answer, and we started the process. Dr. Samuel Kim told Jessica she should freeze her eggs using a method perfected by him. We cannot freeze, you know, Alan just uh, you know, like a freezer, putting in the freezer while liquid nitrogen. We cannot do that. We have to use this solution. That's what we developed here this time, actually. We are using our special so-called cocktails mm -hmm. for these things and uh, uh, protect the cells, protect the eggs. That's the reason we are so successful. Dr. Kim says since about 2006, a third of U.S. fertility clinics have frozen eggs to help women wanting or needing to delay pregnancy, as well as those with religious objections to freezing embryos. Many clinics, however, use a slow freezing process, which is risky for delicate eggs. Obviously, with the slow freezing, there's mm -hmm. ice crystal formation. Ice crystal is, mm -hmm. you know, it can damage all these ultrastructures, cellular structures. Dr. Kim fast freezes the eggs using his special solution, which leads to a much higher success rate when the eggs are thawed and fertilized. Our technique works. Jessica and Ryan are expecting but a boy, according to Dr. Kim, who is 90% sure at this viewing. Baby Dixon's due date is no, April 30th. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Jill Chadwick.